New, New Jersey coffee is junkie right now. Words. New, New Jersey, Jersey coffee junkie streaming right now. Good evening, everybody. NJ Coffee, Coffee Junkie for short. I am here coming to you from the great state of New Jersey on the Shamblecraft server. And tonight, well, it's nighttime now anyway. <laughs> tonight, we are going to have a very chill stream. We have a lot of stuff to talk about. We have a lot of stuff to talk about. I have so much to unpack. There's a creeper over my shoulder I need to take care of that is hugging my sheep and I don't like it. But y'all, we have so much to go over. First, let me get rid of that creeper who is harassing my sheeps. Come here, you. Let's see if I can... Nope, shoot. Sorry, sheep. Well, at least I can get the wool, right? There we go. I'm so sorry, sheep. I owe that sheep a big apology. Oh, I'm sorry, little sheeps. Sigh. I'll come back for that later. It won't despawn. How's everybody doing? Hi Squid, hi Apple, hi Micah, hi Surfer, hi everybody. Welcome, come on in. <laughs> Make yourself at home. There we go. Get rid of that guy. How you doing everybody? I'm doing okay. I am, I'm hanging in there the best I can. Um, today's been a really um, emotional day, I think, is the best way to put it. And I figure, what better way, right? What better way for us to get through this day and end it on a, a high-ish note than by doing some organizing, getting some stuff done, Getting some organizing done downstairs. There's there's a lot to do. There's a heck of a lot to do. So, <sighs> what I want to do is plunk all these shulkers down for now. I want to plunk these down. There we go. I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. Let me move this over so I can see chat. Hi, Pam. It's so good to see you. I meant to reach out to you today, and I'm sorry I didn't. Uh, it's just bonkers. Um, I've been very to myself lately, as you understand. Hi, Vid. It's good to see you, too. It's so good to see everybody. Hi, Donut. I see that you are hanging out in evil's discord too so if that's what you're up to then more power to you for multitasking and this llama is really weird okay i killed a sheep before and i feel so guilty uh that poor thing so let's see i'm gonna grab the oak and the birch logs because i'm gonna need those yeah yeah today's been a tough day Hi, Soka. Good to see you, bud. How are you? I'm okay. I'm having a day. I'm having a day, and we're going to talk about it. Because talking about it is the best thing that you can do, right? So, you know, I don't even know where to start. I seriously don't. I don't know where to start. Um... So I guess I'll start at the beginning. I'll start with the um, I'll start with the rough stuff and then work my way backwards. So this morning, my day started off with some amazing good news, and I'm gonna save that piece of good news. Good news wasn't about me. 
but it was about someone I respect. And I'm going to save that for a second. Um, the day started by finding out that someone that I admire and looked up to in my fraternity had passed away from cancer. He was only 44. He was only 44. He had lung cancer. And I was lucky enough to have known him for at least the better part of a decade and a half. The news is still reeling to me because he was so young. And I've lost friends at a young age before, the youngest having been 22. But this one, this one just hit the gut. In my organization, one of the things that I do is I teach, uh, I teach people about conflict management, problem solving. It's a multi-hour course that our brothers and our new members and every, everyone takes. And this person was the one who inspired me to become a teacher of that course motivated me because of his teaching style and the smooth manner with which he taught. And just the effortlessness of his approach. Everything he did was everything he did was with ease and with a light-hearted candor. Everyone who knew him appreciated and loved him. So this was definitely a gut punch. And I've taken a few moments to shed a couple of tears and think about think about the impact that he left on me. And there are people who have known him a heck of a lot longer who are feeling it even harder than I am. And I'm sharing this not so that you can bestow um, sympathy or, or pity or whatever on me, because um, as much as I appreciate the thought, um, I think I'm more of the mi in the mindset of um, time is fleeting, especially now. And I think we need to be aware of those around us. And as tough as the last few months have been, and as horrific and everything, we need to make sure that if we have loved ones around us, and I'm pretty sure I've said this when daddy passed, but um, be there for those around you. Reach out to the friends you haven't talked to in a while. Let them know that you're okay and talk to them and make sure that they're okay. Because you never know. We were hoping to see each other later this year like we normally do for conventions and conferences and stuff because he lived on the other side of the country from me. And I always looked forward to seeing him because he was always at these conventions and I missed the last one because of finances and yeah but I do have some really awesome memories with him and I'm going to make sure to treasure them always so I think that's all I really want to say about that that hasn't already been said um, so I was riding that for a little while and let them know you're not okay too. Yeah, I definitely have. I had a nice hell. I had a, I had a heart to heart with my friends over the weekend too because they've been they've been you know thinking of me because they hadn't seen me in a while and they wanted to make sure that I was okay. And it was kind of like an intervention almost. And I'm not going to get into details about what we talked about 
because that's between us. But when you have friends that care about you, the world is just a little bit easier to manage. When you have loved ones that care about you, the toughest times aren't so tough. So whether you, whether it's, if it, whether you have people like that in your life or you are that person in someone's life, um, that makes all the difference. It really does. And if you have those people in your life, cling to them and be there for them and let them be there for you, even on the days when you don't want them to be. Because at the end of the day, we only have each other. And life is tough to get through by yourself. So make sure you have that network of people that you can turn to when you really need it. No one is here alone. Never, ever, ever. Um, but having said that, I want to move on to the more positive things, if that's all right. Um, thank you, Cookie. I try. Um, I want to move on to some of the more positive things. Um, first off, um, ha did anyone happen to catch the trailer video that Skizzleman put out this morning about the Legacy MP Season 2? Because, let me tell you, sitting in my super quiet office and seeing that drop, I can't tell you how hard it was for me to stifle the yell. Because Skiz is amazing, and he's wonderful. And if you're not already following him, I'm going to put a link for him in the chat. If you're not already following him, you need to. You need to. He plays Among Us with Impulse and a couple of other people every Friday night. And Mrs. Wells is actually um, playing that now. And we're probably going to go raid her later if she's still going, because I want to play with her. Um, yeah, Soka knows what's up, because because um, we're uh, two of Skiz's mods. Oops, I didn't. I shouldn't have broken that, but that's okay, because that, that's all getting moved anyway. I'm just trying to make the ceiling a little bit wider before I put all the um, before I put all the barrels in. Because we're gonna basically we're gonna basically line the walls with barrels. Yeah, evil notion too, of course. Um, we're gonna line the walls with barrels so we can start emptying all the shulkers out. Because essentially this floor here, this floor here is going to be the nondescript basement area. So this is going to be where the storage is for this Hufflepuff-esque house. And the more that I work on this base, the more I realize I'm getting away from the original, the original concept and kind of letting it evolve. I'm letting it evolve into something something unique and different like every build that you do if you're minecraft players here which i think all of you are you ever notice when you start mapping something out and start building it it's just it's one complete idea and then as you go you realize that you could make little tweaks to it to make it better that's basically what i'm doing here so i have I've been grinding and getting a whole bunch of wood and stuff like that. I've been using birch for that because I don't really need birch for anything else. And I've just been going to town. Later in this stream, I have to grind for crimson trees and crimson wood. But right now, one thing at a time. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for Skiz and I'm excited for Zloy. And they're joining Python, who I've met before and is one of the nicest guys out there who plays Hermitcraft. I mean, he's just so sweet and shy and just a lovely individual. So I'm really excited for that. Um, Logical Geek Boy seems nice. I'd like to meet him at some point. Um, who else? Uh, Pearlescent Moon? That's a name I've heard a lot of. Um... She's not particularly my cup of tea, but I know a lot of people who really like her, and so to see her get this opportunity is really awesome. Especially since, um, especially since there aren't, there aren't too many female Minecraft content creators out there. I mean, there are. I mean, look at Liara, who's amazing. But, um, you don't really, they don't really, I don't know. It's hard to put into words. 
Um, but it's great to see that she's out there, you know? Um, and Sliced Lime, and just the whole group. It's going to be really a wonderful to see what kind of shenanigans they get into and what kind of stuff that they do. And we all know that Skiz is just going to be, you know, we know he's going to somehow find his way to be the icing on the cake. And I'm really looking forward to, I'm really, really looking forward to what he does with them. I really am. I couldn't be more excited for him. And he knows I squealed. <laughs> he liked my tweet, so I guess he's noticed that I squealed. <laughs> he really is one of the best, one of the best dudes. I really hope to meet him someday. Hi, Dino. Good to see you. I see you popping in and out of the server. Um, if there's something you need, let me know, because I can come help you. I'm just grinding tonight, so... I'm making the ceiling just a little bit higher. Just a little bit. Any building tips? Um... I don't know. Um, to be honest, I'm just... I'm just eyeballing everything at this point. Um... I'm not really, um, I'm not really like a Joe or a Tango or anything like that. Um, I suggest just messing around and seeing what inspires you. And at first, as you learn different techniques and stuff, you know, stuff that you're not, you'll, you'll just pick up along the way in figuring out how your build style is. Um, just mess around with it and just play with it and experiment. Yeah, the gold farm's a little bit struggle bussy, that's true. Um, and then let your build style come to you naturally. MalkJ98, thank you for the follow. Come on in, welcome. How's it going? Finally got a chance to join in for a stream. Well, I'm glad to have you. Um, I'm doing well. You enjoy that lurk, Soka. I'll catch you back. Everyone, this is, um, if you, you, I don't know how, um, I don't, yeah, I, I figured, I figured you finally got around to changing your name, <laughs> but I'm so glad to see you. I know, um, I know I haven't really been around in the, um, in the Discord server all that much lately. Um, I've been keeping, um, I've been bouncing around to different Discords every couple of days, because, you know, I, I've been neglectful and I've been kind of lost in my own head a little bit. But uh, I'm doing all right. I'm so glad to see you. Did you... How are you doing with all of your stuff? How are you doing with your, um... Your... Oof. Poor Dino. How are you doing with your, um, your grad school stuff? I saw that you were getting closer to being, um, kind of done with some of it, which is awesome to hear. Okay, I'm going to have to take that down in a minute. Just one more thing. Awesome. I knew you could do it. I'm so proud of you. All right, let's see. Let's scoop up all this nonsense. We'll finish tearing the ceiling up a little bit more. Yeah, we're almost there. We're almost there. We, I think we just have to take out the, um, I think we just have to take out these dirt bits, and I think we're good. And we'll put in some lanterns or something. I have to figure out if I have lanterns or not. Well, I can make lanterns. I have plenty of nugs. I have nugs and torches. Made a lot of progress on it today, so now I'm taking a Minecraft break to relax. Okay, sure. Go for it. Mine and dig along with me. That would be great. Yeah, so what we'll probably end up doing is... Um, we'll probably end up doing some... Like, not recessed lighting, but I did this on... Um, I've done this on the previous Shamblecraft, um, the previous Shamblecraft server. What I like to do is I like to cover the ceiling in a lighter block. Hi, chicken. Thank you for the biddies. 100 bits right there. 
Good to see you. Um, okay, so I have been asked to look something over in my Discord. Okay. You know what, surfer chick? I just gave a quick look at what you, um, I just gave a quick look at what you, um, what you posted. And I just want to say that, oh, thank you, Fairy Prince MC, for the follow. I appreciate it. Hi, Sir Think. Good to see you, too. So I took a, I took a look at what you wrote, and I'm very sorry to hear that. Um, Today is very much a F cancer kind of day. Um, I think what you... There's not much you can do other than be encouraging towards who you wrote about in that post. And... Because they're going to need your support now more than ever. And... I think for her, for her sake and yours continue doing what you've been doing in terms of the social distancing the washing of hands and not being around her for a while because she's going to have to go get treatment again and stuff um i actually have a friend <clears throat> who has been fighting cancer for eight years and recently found out that it has not only returned but spread and to say that that is not terrifying is a lie. Like I've said, you know, all we can really do is just be there for people the best that we can. And, um, I think you want to. And I'm rereading what you wrote. It's, and, and how you feel about it as I'm rereading this, how you feel about it is 100, 100% valid. That is without, that is without question. It is what you are 100% valid, my friend. Um, let's see, do I want to put smooth stone up here? Hi, Iggy. Okay. What block should I use up here? Because I want to do something smooth. That's okay, fairy. It's great to uh, great to see you. Have a good one. Thanks for the follow. All right, let's see. I want a bright block, but I always use um, I always use um, uh, polished diorite, and I don't want to do that this time. I don't want to use polished granite because that's on the floor. And I like a nice bright thing. Let's see what we have upstairs. Because we can make it work. And it's raining. Awesome. Okay. Great. All my stuff's gonna get wet. Um but yeah, there's no there's no real advice I could give to you, um, surfer chick, other than um okay, Jen. Good to see you. Mr. Lance. You know, you know what it is. Bone blocks. Yes. I need to... F I don't have any, though. I don't have any bone blocks. Uh, I don't even have quartz. Um, I don't even have a lot of diamonds, either. Uh, this is gonna be tough. I have sea lanterns. That's a start. I'll grab those. We'll grab those for now. Gla I don't have glazed terracotta either. <laughs> I might have to go with polished diorite because I have diorite coming out of my ears. <laughs> either that or um, smooth stone. I like that. I, I like that. I like that. Um, mm, maybe polished andesite because I have a ton of andesite too that's all cobble stone 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 there, yeah you can see I started trying to organize this mess and got nowhere fast 
gravel, stone, 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 stone. I could swear I had andesite everywhere. Andesite. Smooth stone is great. It's such a simple block. I think andesite doesn't get enough love, though. I have so much stone. I wish I could exchange it. I really do. This is all stone. Yeah, this these chests are a flippin' mess. Let me tell you. Let me grab these, because I need those. Um, yeah, I need these too. Take those. Um, andesite. More bones. I'll take the bones. Maybe I do some mix-up stuff. Maybe I can mix it up. That would be good. Smooth stone. I'll grab that. Why not? Um, gravel. Stone. All the stone all the time. The stone bricks are good. Andesite. Anywhere. I have so much stone! Ugh. Good grief. I have so much andestone... And, um... Uh, andesite and gravel. Uh, not andesite. Stone and gravel. Good grief. That's all stone. That's... That has to be all stone. Stone for days. Gravel. Gravel. <sighs> I have so much stone. Um, I might have... I thought I had more andesite. That's what I'm cra trying to crack. That's what I'm kind of... Oh, there's one polished andesite. Andesite. I knew I had some. Let's see how far this gets me first. Boop. Yeah, because I'm going to tear this out. Let's see. Polished andesite. Let's see how far I get with that. All right, very good. So I'm gonna tear out one more row. There might be some terracotta coming my way. That's always good. So we're gonna tear this one level out. And we'll replace it with the polished andesite. Let's see how that looks. Okay, not too bad. We can make that work. Yeah, I think I can I think I can make that work. I have barrels down here okay so looks like looks like somebody's gonna drop off some terracotta for me which is good I could probably mix up the polished and just make that work which is totally fine although now I have even more stone for days Hi, Double Bass. Hello, hello. Welcome. Make yourself at home. Sounds like Manatee is getting his dinner squared away, which is good. I can hear the microwave outside. <laughs> he closed the office door because I was in a meeting be right before this. In fact, I would not be surprised if a few people popped in after, after the meeting's over. Which is fine. The more the merrier, I say. We'll put that there. Nope, not there, though. I know how to Minecraft, I swear. One of my fellow advisors told me earlier tonight uh, in the meeting I was in, they said, I have been playing non- st I have been playing Minecraft non-stop, and I blame you. And I was like, you are more than welcome. <laughs> um, so... Oh, so anyway, we were talking about, um, we were having conversations about stuff going on today between uh, my friend's passing and the good news from Skiz about his joining the Legacy SMP, 
Well, the other thing that I wanted to share with everybody is that, um, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but there is a Twitch team called SideQuest. They are a group of streamers focused on uh, charity streaming. And uh, my friend Kay ended up joining that group earlier this year during the first uh, cohort of um, applicants. We had both applied, they accepted her, um, and I was turned down, and that's fine. I was expecting that, to be honest. She's a, been streaming for a lot longer. She is a full-time streamer, um, whereas I am not. So it makes total sense. And okay, Apple, have a good one. And let me just say, I'm just super proud of her and the work that she and that group have been able to do so far. Well, they just opened their second cohort wave of applications. And so I have my application that I'm working on right now, and I'm hoping to submit it uh, tomorrow. And I have people reading it over. And I'm nervous about it. So I'm really nervous about it. And I kind of shouldn't be because I know my worth and I know my value when it comes to charity events. And really, is it? it's just a matter of, am I a right... If they look at my application, am I the kind of person that they want on their team? Uh, yes, it's next to Badgers, but outside. Billy Bacon Twitch, thank you for the follow. Welcome, come on in, make yourself at home. I'm NJ, it's good to meet you. All right, there we go. As I tear this ceiling out, I'm gonna replace it with the polished andesite and see how far I get. Looks like there's gonna be some terracotta coming my way, so I'm gonna see how that'll look. Oh, thank you, Jen. I mean, even if I, even if they don't accept me this round either, it's totally fine. Because when they make their choices, they're going to pick people who they feel are going to have the, the most positive impact on what they're trying to do and the charities they're trying to fundraise for. So I can't be mad at that. I can be disappointed, but it's like, you know what? That's fine. I do my own charity work. I do my own, I do my own charity work. I do my own streams. And I have that to focus on. So I can't be, I can't be mad. Heck no. They're good people, and they're doing great things with what they're doing. But yeah, I'm still nervous. And I'm really looking forward to um, seeing who the next wave will be, whether I'm part of it or not. But I do have, like I've mentioned before, I do have two charity events coming up um, over the next couple of months. or not Actually, no, the next couple of weeks. Um, the 29th and the 5th. And I'm super excited about that. Um, I also am considering doing a small fundraiser in February. Oh, hi, Iggy. Oh, that's plenty. Thank you. Okay, I need to empty my pockets. Hold on. Oh, there's an Enderman in here. Oh, I hate when they pop in. Oh, yeah, I know that's Andy. Andy the Enderman. And it's doing the double hoppity skippity thing. Uh. North Tunnel. I'm. Oh, he's fighting the Enderman. Why? Just leave him be. North Tunnel. Uh. Third portal on the left. Okay, sir, thank you. Have fun. Alright, have fun. Um, okay, so let's... Hey, Stacy, good to see you. How are you doing? Let's see, let's pop that in. So, um, with that application, right, 
with that application, I asked earlier in my Discord, and if you're not already in my Discord, it's open to everyone at, if you're at least 13 years of age or older. I saw the link go out before, but um, if you aren't already in it, let me post the link for you. There we go. Um, so, um, what you call it? I was asking my community to mention things about what they thought of the community and stuff like that so that I can include it in the application. So if you're in the Discord and you've been in the Discord for a while and you have any thoughts about um, myself and like any feedback about me as a, a content creator or as a streamer or um, you have thoughts about the community that you want me to share in the application, please, by all means, do so in the general channel. Um, that way I can, I can make sure to throw those in there accordingly, because uh, I would love to in incorporate your voices in that. Um, because to go and do something like this, it's not just something that's for me, it's something that is of benefit to the community too, the community at large. So I would love to be able to um, include everyone um, in that journey. Because, you know, everything that I do, um, everything I do is pretty much, um, you know, community focused. At least it try I try to, to do it that way. That's how I've always been. All right, so that's the second round. Let's... Let's do that. I really hope this looks... I really hope this looks okay. If this looks too dark, I'm gonna end up tearing it all out, and then I'm just gonna be like, uh... But it's fine. <laughs> if I could just not do that, you know? Uh... Yeah, I have to build a tunnel and stuff. That's coming. Oh, come on, I can get in there. There we go. All right, so that's... So it's looking a little bit better. It's looking a little bit better. I want this to, to basically look like a pantry, so it's going to have, you know, lighting and stuff. And I might actually... Um... <laughs> Hi, Dino! <laughs> hat <laughs> hi squirty good to see you sub dino uh, you could put those um, over there in the um, in the barrel if you're watching the stream I love it I like it very much <laughs> Yeah, um, over here, I have um, barrels and stuff. You can put it all in there. I'll have fun with that later. I'm just going to start tearing this all out. I probably should have, um, I probably should have, um, like, scaffolding and stuff, but it's fine. Good to see you, Squid. How's it going? Oh, gosh. Um, but yeah, so... I don't even know where to start. It's been such a such a weekend, you know. Um, being able to spend time with my friends. Um, it was just the four of us and my one friend's kid. Although it was mostly the four of us the entire time. It was just the four of us. Um, we were able to start Christmas shopping. Um, yes, we were responsible. We didn't go into any stores we didn't need to. A bunch of stores we had to go to were actually you know, like permanently closed, which was really surprising and not at the same time. I was really surprised by it. And also disappointed. I really needed a belt. And the store I get my belts from was gone. And I was like, oh man. So there's that. So 
go figure. Alright, so we're just going to tear all of this out. I might have enough. I might not. We shall find out eventually. in there. Boop. Come on, boop. Boop for me. Thank you. Okay, this isn't turning out too badly. I like it. I like it so far. Alright, Dino. Have fun. Alright, so... Hey, Briggs! Good to see you, bud. How are you? Welcome. Come on in. Make yourself at home. I'm just filling in the ceiling and trying to make it a little bit more, um... I don't know. Stylish, but not. I'm doing as well as can be. I, um... I have been through a roller coaster of emotions today between the sadness of losing a friend and someone I looked up to to the joy of finding out that Skiz, who's a friend of the channel um, is now part of the Legacy SMP server Season 2 which is awesome to the nervousness that is coming from trying to apply for um, team side quest as part of their second cohort. I applied for their first one and I didn't get in. So I'm really hoping, and I have my friend who is part of team side quest. She was brought on during the first cohort. Uh, she's helping me with the application so that I have a better chance. Uh, stage four lung cancer. None of us knew about it until today. He passed away this morning. He was 44. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that, Mel. I do. I will probably use it. Yes, 44. I am not kidding. And being that I'm 42, I'm just like... And I don't share my age easily, but, you know, I don't, it doesn't really, I don't really care. Um, because I don't mind people knowing that I am an older female gamer, even though I'm not that old. And neither was he. Um, it is too young. It is too young. And I was saying before, and I'm going to say it again, that if you have loved ones... If you have that squad, those group of friends, that everything, especially now when things are really tough and, you know, you're having a hard go of it. Hi, Brady. Good to see you. How are you? I really want you to take the time. And even even though, um, even though, you know, I struggle with it, it's always good to um, to reach out to that squad, that that group of people, you know? Reach out to your friends on the days when you're okay and the days that you're not okay. Especially when on the days when you're not okay. Because if your friends are, real, are true friends, they're going to be there for you to help you ride the wave through. Squid says, I sound so vigorous and youthful. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm passionate. <laughs> I'm passionate about things and... I care about I care about people and I volunteer 
and I tell people all the time that my volunteering keeps me young. Especially when I'm trying to keep up with um, all the lingo. Like today I learned what a fleet was that wasn't a ship. That's alright Brady, I'm glad you could be here for even part of it. Yeah, I have some of the best students that I mentor. They're just so wonderful. I love working with them. What am I placing? Hold on, I'm confused. That's stone. I don't want stone. I want polished andesite. Thanks for the help, Biggie. Let me scoop some of this up. And we'll just, we'll just shove all the stuff that's not polished andesite in here. Okay, so that's, that's stone. We'll just put all the stuff in here for now because I don't need to carry it. I need, okay, we'll put the bone blocks over here. Future bone blocks, I guess. Put that over there. Alright, let's continue placing because if Iggy's gonna dig. Um, I try, Squid. I try. I really do try. Um, the last couple of months for me have been really tough. It's been very hard to keep positive. It really has. Um, just a lot of stress and everything. But I, um... But I just, I credit my friends for being there for me. Especially during those times. Because even this weekend, they're just, like, they sat me down and they're like, We know how much stress you've been under and we haven't been able to talk to you in person in months and we just want to know if you're okay. We don't think you're okay and we want you to be okay and we're here for you, so talk to us. And so I did and I shared just a lot of how I was feeling and like you do with your friends. These are friends of mine that I've known for the better part of 30, 35 years, so they know me inside and out. And they could tell that I was not okay. That I was really struggling with a lot of different things with the pandemic and everything and you're gonna have those days everyone's had those days if they don't have them now you know just hang in there reach out to your friend group reach out to your loved ones and be honest and it's gonna be okay it'll be all right Come on, you can do it. Maybe a little closer. Boop! Got it! Nice. Alright, there we go. Welcome back, Dino. Yeah, so this is step one. Oop! Oh, jeez. Startled me. <laughs> Brady says, My family's been in quarantine because my dad was positive for COVID, so I have to do school online, which has its pros and cons. Yeah, you know what? I really hope that your dad is okay, Brady. I really do. Um, I've been... Um, you gotta do the best that you can, and hopefully the quarantine will be short and he'll um, recover fully. Um, quickly, at that. Um, um, I wish him well. So you can tell him that um, he has no idea who I am, but that I am thinking of him and ha hoping that he has a very speedy recovery. Because that is really scary. And yes, show, go to class in your PJs. Nobody's going to care if you're wearing... Um, no one's going to care if you're wearing um, themed pants. They just really care if you're wearing pants. Alright, so that's another stack down. So I've got one stack to go before I have to go restock. Wood is in the barrels. Let's see. I don't think I'm going to have nearly enough. I think I am going to have to go for smooth stone or something. Like, just build a bunch of furnaces and go to town. Just because I have so much stone, I might as well just use it. 
even though I want something brighter. Welcome back, Jen. Dang it. Get up there. Oh, you can look up. Oh, um, that's fine. That's fine, Dino. That's fine. Yes, I did. Oh, the, the, the thing? Yeah, I did. I just couldn't carry it all. That's true friends right there. Mm-hmm. True friends will let you cry and not judge you for it. You have good friends, Surfer. Okay, that was my last, so... You're doing great, Iggy. It's probably from all the entities. Alright, so let me pick all this up as much as I can carry. Uh, make it all into polished andesite. Okay, I think that's all of it. Alright, good, 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 good. We're, we're coming along here. Come on, I can do it. Yay, I did it. <laughs> so yeah, it's only Tuesday, y'all. It's only Tuesday, but it seems like it seems like things are speeding along now. It seems like 2020 is as exhausted as we are and just wants to be over with. And I cannot tell you how much I look forward to it. Yes, yes you are. <laughs> I see the icon. Thank you. I think you might have been gifted a sub. I don't remember. I think you were gifted a sub. Come on. I don't have all night. Let's do this. All right. So talk to me, everybody. How are you doing tonight? What's on your mind? Let's talk about stuff. Because I've been yammering on and on and on about, about everything. And, I mean, this week, this week's going to be a quiet week. Um, Micah says, good. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Do, do, do. Yep. <laughs> Alright, Dino. See you in a bit. Um... Squid says, pretty good. Waiting for a professor to get back to me. Oh, okay. It is the run-up to the holidays. That it is. Oh my gosh. I have no idea what to get anybody for Christmas. I really don't. And yes, I'm excited to actually think about Christmas. Okay, I can't reach that. So I'm just going to put one of these on the floor. And then put that in there. And then grab this granite because I want to fill that in. There we go. That's all filled in. Now I can continue. Dang it! Come on. Oh, thank you for that, Brady. I really appreciate it. Your s squid says, My sister's favorite holiday is Christmas, so it's been Christmas music since September. Oof. Light Gen says, I'm surviving... Uh, being a cub master with a lot of support from my hubs. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I've been surviving um, work thanks to my hubs. Like, he's been taking me to work every morning. He's been bringing me home every night, making sure that I get home safely and that kind of thing. Because I refuse to take mass transit, as does... And he's like, I refuse for you to take mass transit. Because we've heard stories about um, conductor, train conductors getting sick uh, because people on the trains won't wear the masks. So it's like, hmm. 
So he's like, I want you to have none of that. So I'm going to pick you up every night. I'm going to bring you in every morning. Unless I have a meeting, then you're on your own. Which I just, you know, I just call a service or whatever. Because I can. Which thankfully it's rare. I don't have to do it that often. But Hi Nom! Good to see you. How's everything? Welcome on in. Make yourself at home. There we go. Mal says, I've been having a good time lately with my roommates watching musicals in our dorm almost every night and ordering pizza. Okay, so tell me, what's the musical uh, du jour this this evening? What's the, what's the latest one you watched? I'm hanging in, Nam. I'm hanging in. Life is trying to be as good as it can be. All things considered. Dang it. Poor Dino, he's just... Poor Dino's having a rough go. Dang it, come on. So, Mal says that yesterday they watched Grease, and the time before that was Sweeney Todd. Was it the Sweeney Todd with um, Johnny Depp? And Grease is so good. My, f it's, uh, my friends and I, together, it's our favorite musical. Oh, it's so good. So good. I, I really liked it, even though it was weird. I just really like the absurdity of it. Because I had never seen it before, either. But they never saw Grease? Or was it Sweeney Todd they hadn't seen? Neither one! Ooh! Oh, you hadn't seen either! Oh! Well, what did you think? I'm especially curious to hear your thoughts on Greece. Jen says that she saw Sweeney Todd in New York. Nice. Yeah, Sweeney Todd was really good. I was I was I was really thrilled with it. I guess it was weird, but it was good. All right, Brady. Have a very good night. Good luck in school tomorrow. Iggy says Grease was greasy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really enjoyed them both. The ending of Grease surprised me with how much Sandy changed, but I love the songs and the characters were fun. Couldn't believe they were supposed to be in high school, though. Yeah, that's what you get when you get adults to do the parts. Uh, like, um, like in their 30s or whatever it was. Vid says, Grease was an odd one. Best not to take any kind of moral lesson from. Probably same with Sweeney Todd. Yeah. 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 Light Gen says, Grease was the soundtrack of my childhood. Well, Grease was part of my childhood as well. When I was in high school, you know, we had a sleepover at my friend's house. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> and um it was one of those things where we watched that um nom that's um that is dino dino's helping with helping me with the ceiling so i can get to the organization part of the program i've been wanting to organize now for about an hour and realize that i wanted to do i wanted to do this first oh micah are you heading out have a good one there we go Let's see if i can finish this section Almost there. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, nice. All right, so we're almost done. Come in. There we go. All right, so we've got this big section here and this little section here.
We'll have to make sure this is all lit up. Dino says, yes, howdy, I'm Dino. Alright. There we go. Mal says, when I said I had never seen Grease before, I... The what from my roommates could probably be heard across the entire floor. I don't doubt that for a split second. It is a very iconic musical. Come on, you can do it. Get in there. Like a hop and a skip and a jump. I am worried about how dark the room is. There's plenty of torches though, just the ceiling looks dark. When I plunk in some sea lanterns and some other things... That's okay, Nam, you should. It's, it's a cute little musical. I mean, it has its moments, and some of it doesn't make sense, but... Musicals usually don't... in, in places. And I like some of the prevailing theories they have about the story itself. There's one theory in particular where, um, where the story is Sandy having uh, a hallucination that, um, that she ends up dating Danny, but in reality they both drowned. Because in the beginning of the story, she, they talk about, in the, in the first song, they talk about, um, what you call it? Yeah, they talk about uh, about meeting on the beach and her having nearly drowned and he saved her but there's a there's a theory going around yeah it is kind of dark that it's you know that the the well you have to watch the you have to watch it because I mean it sounds far-fetched but I get why people could think that The afterlife has a lot more singing. I could actually see that. Yeah, maybe. My favorite traditional musical, though, is Guys and Dolls. And my favorite modern musical um, is a mix or a tie between Rent and Avenue Q. I've had the pleasure of seeing uh, Rent uh, twice and Avenue Q twice. And Avenue Q is... Well, they're both adult themes. Rent, um, Rent is a musical about um, individuals living in New York City um, during, um, you know, the 90s at the height of the, the HIV crisis. And, you know, some of them are, have HIV and stuff like that and how they live with the disease. And Avenue Q is a puppet-based show that talks about this puppet or this guy and he's moving to the city and he's trying to figure out what to do with his life because all he has is a BA in English you know and he says you know what is my life going to be and as someone with a BA in English let me tell you that when I was looking for work and I went to see that musical that song resonated with me so much that I just sat there and just went, that is me. That's my life. Avenue Q is amazing. I, when my friend came, uh, came to visit from Colorado, we surprised her by taking her, um, like making the trip out to the city so that she could see the show. I bought tickets and everything. Squid says, I played Nate Detroit in Guys and Dolls and can't listen to it anymore. That's, that's fair. I bet you were great in it, though. Okay, there we go. We're getting closer to being done. A couple of missed spots here. I'm just going to go peg, clean those up. Boop. Oh, come on, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. Alright, let's clean this up. Wait till you run the spotlights for three years. Yeah, 
I actually ran tech for guys and dolls in college. Um, I was one of I was part of the crew for it. It was pretty awesome. I really loved that show. All right, so this is the one that leads down to the bottom. So we have a big problem. Yeah, that's. Did I leave us with no? Okay, there's one exit. That's great. Okay, so there's a lot of terracotta here. I could do some stuff with this terracotta. I really could. I just don't know what. Lightgen says, when I was eight, my sister played nicely, nicely in Guys and Dolls. They didn't have enough guys try out. Ah, well, I mean, that's there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you think about it, in Shakespearean times, right? They had, um... In Shakespearean times, they had guys play all the roles. So, go dolls is guys, exactly, or guys is dolls. It's, it's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Um, okay, so... Thank you. That's a lot of terracotta. I can do so much with that. I could have a field day with that. Okay, so Andy is done. Andy is empty. Thank you so much. All right. So now we have that part situated. Now we have part two. And I don't know how we're going to do this, but it's honestly one thing at a time. All right. Okay, I see that some terracotta was kind of smushed in. All right, so let's grab this. Let's grab this this birch. We're gonna put as much. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna throw this nug right in the chest here. That's fine. Uh, and a random end stone. Sure, why not? Okay. Wow, that's a lot of terracotta. Um, the terracotta I might use downstairs. That's fine. Uh, there's like random stuff in here. Good grief. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this too. Found his Dino found his the boots that they lost. Awesome. Uh, what a mess. Okay, so the acacia planks we're gonna take. Let's see the birch planks we're gonna take. All right, so here's what we're gonna do, right? We need to make planks first. We're going to make a bunch of... We're going to make a, as many planks as we can. Then we're going to make slabs. Alright, there we go. So we have slabs. So now we can make barrels. So I can make 21 barrels. I can pick some of this up. I can make more... Actually, I don't want to make more slabs. I want to make more barrels. Okay, so I guess I can make one barrel at a time. Eight barrels. Okay, good. Can I make more barrels? Yes, I can. Make all the barrels! Yes, I can. Okay. So, let's see. No one has mentioned my favorite musical, horror, or comedy. Alright, Vid. What is it? Because you've got me, uh, you have me curious. Um, let's see. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, it's been so popular and around so long that it has parodies of parodies. That's very true. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's a good one. I love Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, my friend and her husband were members of um, a... Oh dear, okay. This... Okay, they, they, there are chests here. Okay. So I think we're going to start with this wall. Uh, do I want them to be all the way up? Do I really need the barrels all the way up? Let's see... I think... Little Shop of Horrors is a close second. Um, yeah, go ahead, Dino. Tim Curry can do anything. Hi, Chicken. Um, basically, I have started getting stuff together for... Um, getting stuff together to do the proper organizing I want to do. 
So now what I think I want to do is keep that strip up top and on the sides intact and have it be something else. Maybe that's where the polished diorite will come in. And then take all these barrels and just plunk them in. Yeah, I think 20 barrels in each section is fine. And then, let's see. Briggs says, hard to believe the same person who did Dr. Frankenfurter also did Darkness and Legend. He was also in It and Clue and a bunch of other um, a bunch of other movies and stuff. He's amazing. He's so good at what he does. He's just a freaking legend. I adore him. I wish I could have had the chance to meet him. Obviously, he's not in a place where he's able to meet people right now. And that's you know, it is what it is, but... Alright, let's see if I can put these... Like this. Fern Gully? Yep, I think he was in Fern Gully, yeah. He was in Muppet Treasure Island, too. I'm not kidding, he really was in Muppet Treasure Island. <laughs> okay. And Iggy is assuming... I'm going to do that, which is correct. Alright, do I have more wood on me? I might not. I might have to go get some. Oh, this there's oak here. Okay. Let me dump the stone, the stone, the dirt. Get rid of some of this stuff in my hands. Yeah, I, th I think that's okay. He did a table read of Rocky Horror in Wisconsin. Yeah, I heard about that, and I was so sad that I couldn't watch it. I was really sad that I couldn't watch it. I really wanted to. He is a master of over-the-top characters. That is 100% valid. Okay, so it looks like I have even more wood to work with, which is great. So I can make a lot of- I, I can make quite a few more barrels, which is fantastic. So that is... Why is... Wait, why do I have a shulker head? Why do I have a shulker head? <laughs> Here. Boop! Shulker head! I appreciate the help. Hi, Magnus! Um, welcome. I'm NJ. Good to meet you. Um, I am working on the basement of my interpretation of Hufflepuff House. I'm working on level one. And so this is, um, this is going to be for storage. So, um, I'm just setting up barrels and things so that I can, um, what you call it, so that I can just get a little more organized, because I'm not happy with where my organization is right now. I have every shulker I own completely full, bursting at the seams. Alright Briggs, see you later. I don't like that. I am very Hufflepuff. What? Oh, I see. Symmetry. Thank you, Magnus. Oh, redeeming 100 coffee beans. I have been going for over an hour. That is a good call. Thank you so kindly. Um, I'm going to stand up for a second. Ah. Uh. I appreciate that, Iggy. I didn't realize... I was going to realize it eventually. 
um, as I dug through, but that's cool. Oh. Then come back down, Dino. Oh, I figured you're laggy. Just take your time. Thank you very much for that, Magnus. Very thank you. Thank you. If you need to get, if you need to stretch, if you need to take a break, if you need to take a breather, if you need a beverage, uh, feel free to go do that, because we're just chilling. So now, what I can continue to do is I can, well, I can. Uh, okay, you're below. Why is there a missing piece of? Wait, where are you, Dino? Dino's in a hole. Where are you? Hold on. There you go. Come this way. Come this way. Come up this way. There you go. Lightgen says, My son created a giant nether hub for our family realm. Started working on decorating some of the tunnels of it. I think I did a good job making a very bright and extravagant tunnel to my gold farm. If you're in my Discord, Jen, I want to see pictures. I want pictures of this. I want to see. I want to see what you did. Um, okay, so now we're going to go ahead again. We're going to do... Um, we're going to do the planks. <sighs> Come on. Planks, please. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so we're gonna make more barrels. 37 barrels, perfect, 38 barrels. Um, so my top five Harry Potter characters. Um, let's see, um, I love Hermione. I, th I think she's just massively underrated. Um, I, even though she's a main character. Um, I was really disappointed with that that play that came out, the curse, the cursed character, or whatever it was, the cursed, the cursed kid, or what have you, I was really disappointed by it, um, because a, the story was predictable, and b, the way they wrote Hermione was just so out of character for her that I just looked at it and went, no, this is not, this is not how she would be. She's not like this. So I was massively, massively disappointed by that. Okay, I think I got it this time. Yeah, I got it this time. Um, I loved Luna because I think she's wildly misunderstood. Uh, Cursed Child, yeah. Um, I mean, I like Harry, and I really appreciated this, um, what he endured and stuff like that, but I thought that he could have been... There was, there was some stuff that could have been handled better. Um, I really liked Mrs. We uh, Mrs. Weasley, too. I really did. I thought she was... I, I still think she's a great character. Just, she's... Mm, just, I, I, I think she's aces. Yeah, this is coming along really well. I'm able to... I'm going to be able to do a lot of things here. And obviously each um, each barrel is going to be labeled. We'll do the labeling later. I'm not going to worry about it now. And I just want these barrels to be high enough so that I can reach them. Because you see, I can just look up and be able to reach that. So if I can reach it, that's fine. Um, I can't make any more barrels yet, but I can... I can make more planks... And I have plenty of, I have plenty of that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's chop this down. I don't know. Um, I don't know who else I I like. I mean, I don't know how I feel about it. I really want to get all of these 
blind. I hope it doesn't cause lag, but... Alright, so that... This is the next round. Yeah, I think this'll do. There we go, yeah. Because I know that one section is going to be completely just... It's going to be completely full of, um, of stone. I'm not worried about that. Um, but yeah. I, um... I know that for some people, and I've, I mention this all the time, and I want to make sure I make this as crystal clear as humanly possible, um, there are a lot of things about um, the author that are exceedingly problematic, and I could not agree more. Um, so when you see this interpretation of Hufflepuff House, this is going to be a house where everyone is welcomed, everyone is cared for, everyone is appreciated, everyone is loved for who they are, who they love, all of it. Like no ifs, no ands, no buts. That's how that's how I am. All right, that should be enough to make a a lot of barrels. 35 barrels, perfect. I really appreciate all the help. This would have taken me a while. Yeah, exactly. The art can be separated from the artist, and that's essentially what I'm trying to get at, is that um, I really want to make sure that people feel welcome in my spaces. And that's the same thing here. I mean, everyone everyone is welcome as they are to, um, to, to be, to be the kind of person, one, wait, one, one, two, three, four, it should be one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, it's not going to be even, fellas. Room is un uneven. NBD. Not a big deal. But yeah, I want people to feel welcome. Everyone who comes into my streams and everyone who comes to hang out with me, y'all are welcome. And I want whatever I build to reflect that. So right now I'm working on this space where, you know, this is, you know, this is the pantry and storage area. So this is where all the goodies are kept. All the snacks, all the materials, all the supplies, everything. And then underneath this, we're going to probably have the brewing area where I'm going to brew all of the potions that the, and all the butterbeer for all the kids. The common room is going to be in some at some point soon too, but one thing at a time. I have to um, I have to be able to um, finish the main part of the base, and I can't do that because I have to grind for all the wood I need because I'm using crimson wood. So I have to make sure to do that. Let me go make more. Um... Thanks, Iggy. Let me make more. Wait, can I make more barrels? Oh, I can't because I only have the slabs. Okay. All right, so I might not be able to, I'm not gonna be able to do anything else in this regard tonight. I'm gonna have to just go plant more, more birch. Okay, so we're gonna put these in here for now. We'll be ready for them. I made way too many slabs, that's for sure. So let me get some planks going. And now I can take the, um, I can take a stack of planks, make f Oh no! I just made 40 crafting tables. Why did I do that? Oh my God. Ah, oh, poop. Well, you know what? You know what? I... Oh. <laughs> Can you burn crafting benches? <laughs> Can you burn crafting benches? <laughs> I derped. I derped so hard. Oh, I know 
know one of you is gonna clip that. I already know. Just go ahead, clip it, put it in the Discord, it's fine. Oh. <laughs> rip. Oh my god, rip. So much rip. Oh dear. <laughs> Animate says they smelt one and a half items. Perfect. Pricey fuel. It's fine. It's fine. I derped beautifully. Oh, that's so good. Uh, you know what to do, chat. I accept any and all spoons. Feel free. Have at it. Spoonificate this right now. Alright, so there we go. <laughs> Stream and a show. <laughs> Okay, hold on. That looks... yeah, so... <laughs> I so derped. It's fine. So while Iggy's... while Iggy Diggy digs, I will... place, place, place. That's okay, Squid. Thank you. I totally derped. Everybody boops, that's right. Who needs a crafting table when you can have a crafting floor? You know, I could totally, um, I could totally make a, uh, I could totally make a crafting bench carpet almost on the floor. That would actually be kind of clever. I like that. I could have it like a dance floor almost. Almost. Um, you know what? You know what, Iggy? Yeah, I actually, um, I actually do need a break because I actually want to go grab um, an another um, another drink because um, I'm out of s I have a diet soda outside I want to go grab it uh, all right so I'm gonna let the music play and just chill and stuff um, so I'm gonna throw up the be right back sign at least I'm gonna try to because it's not I don't know why it's doing that but it's fine so I'm gonna just, um, yeah, I'm gonna take a hydration break. Yeah, I'm gonna let the music play. Um, that graphic right there brought to you by Oh Nostalgia on Twitter. I use it sometimes for my stream setup, but yeah, it's, I love it. That's my, one of my favorite pictures right there. Uh, so grab a quick beverage, hydrate, stretch your legs. L give me like a minute or two, listen to the music. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for that hydration break, Iggy. I really appreciate it. I really did need another soda. Um, it's decaf. Don't worry. I won't be up all night. <laughs> but I think this is amazing progress, and I can't wait. Hi, cat! Welcome! Come on in! Make yourself at home, my friend. How are you? It is really good to see you. Okay, so we have... 
We have to finish laying out the barrels. And then we're going to lay out the rest. Am I going to be able to do all of this tonight? Probably not. <laughs> Excuse me. Just because there's so much... There's so much going on right now. Um, let's grab this oak log set and we'll grab another stack of birch slabs. We will make whatever barrels we can out of that. Why is there why are there diamonds in my inventory? Why are there diamonds in my hand? What did you do? I'm going to put those in there for now. What did you do? No clue. I'm low on those. Okay. I'm I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. They might be mine. I don't know. Um, okay, so... Bought some crafting tables. Thanks, Cookie. Probably found them while digging. Maybe. maybe. I mean, we're not low enough for diamonds. We're only at, um... We're only at, we're at level 64. There are no diamonds up here. I do have a level 11 section though. Okay, so the hall the holes have been carved. I should have known. So, we're going to continue putting barrels over here. And obviously, I'm going to go ahead and you know, I'll label these accordingly. And I have to think about what kinds of things I want to put in the barrels. Like, I obviously want to kind of separate them by category. And I picked barrels as opposed to chests because, A, barrels can open sideways like this. Um, let's see. Can I... Okay, I've got one more barrel. Alright, so I have to make more planks. This is probably overkill for barrels, and I don't care. I'd rather have more barrels than less, and also, this is a, you know, this is supposed to be in the ground kind of thing. Now, I could probably fix this up and put stone bricks or something like that, because I have, again, so much stone that I don't know what to do with it all. I have shulker after shulker after shulker after shulker of stone. It's almost to the point of obnoxious because of all the digging that I did. But it's fine. It's totally fine. Kat says, tired. I've been out Lego shopping this morning. Oh, were you able to find anything? Um, I'm assuming that's, you know, Christmas list kind of thing. Uh, were you able to find what you were looking for? Okay, obviously this is going to get co uh, covered up, but for now it'll stay there. It's fine. Um, yeah. Let's grab more... Let's grab another stack of slabs. Make more barrels. Alright, there we go. Nope. That was a derp. Come here. Boop. Alright, there we go. Okay, perfect. Alright, I still have 19 barrels left, so I could totally use those elsewhere. Um, looks that way. This completely blocks this wall, but this is going to get moved anyway, so that's fine. I can move this over by one and not worry about it. That's fine. Good job. Good job. 
I have a lot of work to do otherwise, so one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Dino says, I was vibing. Kinetic energy ruined it. Happens. Happens to the best of us. Cat says, could find most of what I wanted plus two extra big sets from me as I am a Lego builder. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm glad to hear that. I was able to find a couple of things over the weekend for my sister-in-law and my friend's kids. I still have no idea what to pick up for my nieces, my nephew, my brothers-in-law. I got some stuff for my brother, and I know that he's not watching right now, which I'm kind of glad about, because I don't want him to get spoiled. But, uh, I'm just, I'm excited. I can't wait for him to see what, uh, I can't wait for him to see what, what I ended up picking up. Now let's see. Let me make a furnace. Or two. Okay, so we'll put the furnaces here for now. And I have the crafting benches that I tossed in one of the... I tossed in somewhere. So we'll put 20 crafting benches in here, because I don't need them. 20 crafting benches in there. And... Let's see. Do I want to make smooth stone? Do I want to make smooth stone? Uh, I don't know what I want to do. Um, or do I want to make stone bricks? Because I still have more polished andesite, but I think that would be overkill. I think that would be too much. Now, do I have to cook the terracotta? I don't think I have to cook the terracotta. I should take care of the iron ore, though. So let's do that. Let's smelt that, because that'll save some space. We have the shroom lights that I've been grabbing, so I think what I want to do is plug in shroom lights throughout this ceiling here and make that, I think, pop. I think that'll work. Like, have it be a weird mix of sea lanterns and shroom lights and just have it be kind of trippy. So I, th I think that's what I'm going to end up doing, but I need to go and take care of more stuff. And I should probably make some signs. I don't think I have signs. And I still have almost two stacks. I have two stacks plus of slabs. So I could still make more barrels if I want and need them. So that's something. Uh, do I want to start cooking the stone? I probably should. I think I want to do... Cooking terracotta is how you get the glazed. Alright, so you know what? We're going to experiment. Because why not? You know, we're going to learn something today. Let's grab... Let's grab a stack of terracotta. And... We'll plunk... Okay, so no. It... It doesn't work. Cooking the terracotta isn't how you get glazed. It's it's not there. It doesn't work. Need more wood or I'm fine. Um go f go for it. Thank you. Hmm. So vid the terracotta won't cook. It won't cook at all. I think maybe it has to be dyed. Hold on. To the Google, to 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 the Minecraft wiki. How do you get glazed terracotta in Minecraft? Toss some regular terracotta in a furnace with some fuel and wait a few moments. Okay, that's great and all, but it mm, maybe it doesn't see maybe it doesn't see this as proper fuel. Maybe I need to use Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, maybe I need to use coal. So let's try coal. So we'll plunk in the coal. We'll plunk in the terracotta. Nothing. That's weird. Oh, one vaping cloud one. Thank you for the follow. Come on in. Welcome. Has to be a color. 
Oh, okay, so it has to be dyed. Alright, so that's a nope. Got it. Good to know. Next concern. Goody. Alright, not a big deal. So... What can we do now instead? A... Uh... Blast furnace. I don't have what to make. I don't have to. I don't have what it, I need to make a blast furnace. Not a big deal. Okay, but I do have crimson wood, which is good. I have a start on that. Okay. So, all right. I need. I do need. I do have some wood. Not a lot. Um. I'm going to put this cobble back. Stone. Yeah, the terracotta has to be colored. It's fine. I'm going to dump all the stuff that I don't need right now in this... in this thing here. I have a hoe. I have two hoes, which is good. Fortune, oh, fortune is not bad. Let's grab that. Okay, so... Do, do, do. Up we go. It's night time. Yay! Gonna sleep. Very good. Alright, do I have signs in here? I have one sign. That's not going to help me in the slightest. Uh, and I want birch... So Hi! Hi! All right, Dino, see you later. Uh, okay. I have... I have a warped sign. That's it. Goody. Okay. Uh... <sighs> I could use item frames, but I know item frames lag the system hard. And I mean hard. Um, actually, I need one of those shields. There we go. Let's see, the food box. Hmm. Night, Dino. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I had, oh my god, I had over, I had all this andesite up here. Oh my god. <laughs> Blarg. I, so much derp. So much derp. And I have tons of end rods, which I love, so... Okay, I'm not worried about it. Okay. Ooh. Alright, hold on. I need... I need this llama to not be in the way. Llamas, man, I swear. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, because I need a lot of birch signs. I am... A llama's primary purpose is to be in the way, that's correct. I have your face hanging on my wall, that's right, I do. Okay. So, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to continuously plant birch and tear down trees so that I can get a lot of birch signs. I'm going to need at least 100 signs, which is going to be ridiculous, but whatever. Uh, and I can probably put one over here. I'm not going to bone meal them. They'll grow, they'll grow on their own if, the, if, the, if they're in a good spot, so I'm not worried about it. See? You don't have to bone meal them. Good grief. I'm patient. Alright, so here we go. I don't need the, um... I don't really have 
any heads right now. Um, the ones I do have, I definitely want to keep. Um, I do have an extra... Um, eh, I do have an extra um, phantom head if you want it, though. And you're fine, Iggy. It's fine. I'm actually saving all the bone meal I have for when I need the crimson wood because the crimson wood, the the build is going to be so big. It's going to take so much of it that any skeletons or anything I get, it's all going to be used for that purpose. And the nether wart bricks, I can break those down. I can break those down and go from there. Um, I'm yeah, I'm pretty sure I have an extra phantom head, Iggy. Name your price. Or Dino. Name your price, Dino. They're not that bad. They're more annoying than anything else. All they do is screech and try to swing at you. A well-timed arrow hit is more than fine. out of the way. Welcome back, Soka. We're still going for a little while longer. Vid says, nothing fills me more with dread than tss. Yeah, tell me about it. On this server, you don't really hear it. They sneak up on you, and they blow up silently. They don't cause any, uh, they don't cause any property damage, but they will kill you, which is irritating. All right, there we go. Yeah, Vid, there- oh my gosh, I can't tell you how many times I've been blown up. There was one point where I was on Joe's Season 6 Patreon realm, and I went AFK for a little bit thinking I was safe, and then the next thing I know, a creeper blew up, and I was like, oh man, now I gotta put all that stuff back, and I don't remember how it was. It's annoying. More than mildly, that is absolutely accurate, Sir Thank and Dino. Absolutely accurate. But yeah, so I figure I get a whole bunch of... I have plenty of slabs, so if I wanted to do something with them, I could do something with them. If I want to wreck them, I can just, you know, like, use them as fuel if I want to. Cookie says, I found the phantom comments this year during Minecon hilarious. Don't let this be another phantom. Yeah, pretty much. The phantoms are more annoying than anything else. I mean, I'm used to them now, so they don't bother me as much. It's just like, okay, come on. And... What was it? I was playing the other night, and there must have been about five or six that came at me. And I was just like, ugh. Alright, come on, here we go. Let me make sure I have arrows, because I don't have an infinity bow. I mean, you can basically use your sword or even, you know, a, a pork chop to boop them on the nose and get them to fly back up and away from you. That's... That's totally something that works. Okay. Yeah, the sticks are going to come in handy too, because I need the sticks. Because I need the sticks for the signs. I think it's six planks, six planks and a stick. So I'm not really interested in the 
Um, and the saplings all that much because the saplings are great, but I just don't need them. It's this stuff I need. As I'm like dipping into the ocean over here. There we go. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> Let me clean up this mess though. That's appreciated, Iggy. I'm just gonna replant where I see uh, dirt spots. And whenever they grow, they grow. I think I've got a good start here. We'll leave those there. Newt has joined the network. Yes, very good. Okay. Plant that there for the heck of it. All right, so we're in good shape here. And we'll plant one there and maybe one over here. Very good. Uh, you're welcome to bring it along, Dino. Um, I could always use it because I have to. I need a lot of crimson wood, and yeah, I need a lot of crimson wood. That. All right, so I have almost, uh, let's see, three stacks 20 of wood. I think that's plenty. Okay. Tear this one down, grab that. All right, let's, I'm gonna head back downstairs. Yeah, slowly but surely, we're getting somewhere. So now I have to try to figure out... Um, I have to figure out where I want to put everything. Like, I want to get this all situated. So... As in... As in, um... Where... How do I put it? Hi, Dino. Welcome back. I'm trying to figure out where to situate this. Ah. So let's see. So if you come down from... Let's see. Where's the main doorway? Because that's going to get blocked up. Hold on. So this is the doorway that leads to the front door. This is going to end up getting blocked up. This is going to move by one. Is it going to move by one? Maybe. Because the front porch, it'll go under the front porch. So this will basically be like a secret passageway or something. I really would want it to be over here. Now did this, okay, so this needs ladders. We're in luck. I have ladders. And sticks. Ladders and sticks for days. Okay. That's okay, Iggy. I don't mind. So, we start there. There should be a trap door here, which I don't have right now. Oh, that was a derp. I will address I will address that later. Cuz this obviously has to move. Nope. Okay, hold on. It's going to need one more. Okay, so this is going to be along a wall that has things on it, so where does it need to move? How many over does it need to move? Cause, yeah, because if it moves over by two... It, okay, so one, two, three. Three is that. Three is the doorway leading to the um, the secret room. Three is the doorway to the secret room, so one, two, three. So... So I think here... Here and here. We can make that a double entrance way. Okay, so one, two, three, 
four and five. Got it. Four and five. I think that's fine. Four and five. So one, two, three, four and five. So four, five. Okay. So now we're going back down. Maybe center water honey vader. Um, maybe a honey vader, but not right now. That's something I would have started an hour ago, but it's definitely on my radar. Why is the nether so dangerous around my portal? Because it's exposed and there are ghasts everywhere. That's why. How many ladders do I have? I have 59 ladders. I can make that work. Well, it doesn't have to be even. That's the thing. It doesn't have to be even at all. The, the, um, those things being even, yeah, sure. But it doesn't have to be even. I don't, I don't. I almost don't want it to be even. I mean, a honey vader ladder is fine. I just don't have. Um, I just don't have the spoons for it right now. There we go. And I did this not thinking that I wouldn't have... Oh, that was not smart of me. Okay, hold on. I don't have enough tool materials to do that. Let me go in here and grab a stack of stone. Because there's plenty of it. Actually, wait. Let me grab those seven first. Put that away. Alright, perfect. I'm going to fix that and close that in. And then grab the acacia plank. Boom. Okay. So I think we can get away with breaking that and that. Yeah, because I have to make the trapdoors. All right, that works. Beautiful, okay. Why is this corner so dang dark? Let's light this bad boy up because this is not, this is too dark for my taste and I don't feel like dealing with creepers. Yeah, this is too dark. Look at this. This is way too dark. There we go. That's better. So I am going to have to do some thinking about what I want to do to make this space well one it's going to need signage that's for darn sure and for two I have to figure out how to make sure that this stays lit so one thing at a time that's another entrance in that's got to get fixed this is the entrance way to the rest of the underground That's layer two. We're going to work on that next time. Oh, there's a spider in there. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not... Move, Iggy, move, 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 move. Move or I'm going to shoot you. Oh, 
Okay, where did it come from? It probably came from around here somewhere. This is lit. I did light all of this up. So, hmm. This should all be lit. Yeah, this is all lit. There's no reason for a spider to spawn back here. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna have to, um... I'm gonna have to go through and fix all this. Because this is my mining area, but... Oh, hey! Dorkster, thank you for the tier 1 sub! Oh, you changed your handle! Good. Oh, okay, gotcha! Good to see you! I... I am celebrating. What are we celebrating? Celebrating two months? You bet. Good to see you. Good to see you. How have you been? Welcome. Come on in. Come chill with us. I'm just trying to spider-proof this downstairs area of my base. This is my mining area. There's a ravine directly underneath here, which is why it's all covered up. Oh, nice! Okay. Oh, of course it was. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, I knew I missed a spot. That's alright. That's fine. Oh, speaking of which, I don't know if you knew this, but, um, I have a Patreon. It's relatively new. It's only been around for about a month and a half. And it's an absolute blast. I love it. I love having people on my server. Um, I need to get on there a little more often. I'm not on there often enough. But I try to pop in every so often just to say hi and such. And I promise I'll be better about that. Okay, let's see. We're going to make some signage now. Uh, signs, signs, everywhere signs. Um, okay, so I need to... I, uh, I have sticks. I just need the planks. So we'll take those. And... Let's see. I need the birch planks, though. Okay. So, the oak planks I'll shove in here for now. And the spruce signs I'll shove in here, because they're too dark for what I need. Okay. Oh, dino, that's great. Thank you. So I've now made a ton of those, so let's make a lot of birch signs. Okay, so that is a lot of signs. So, no, I don't want to ride the llama! Why am I riding the llama again? Um... Well, Lorem Ipsum is uh, using Greek language. It basically means, um, it has no meaning, I guess. Um, uh, let me put that away. Grab all these planks. Now I have all these signs. I have tons of signs. Which is good. I'm gonna head back down here. Yeah, this is gonna get fixed. This will be moved over, too. Um... We'll put the signs in these chests because we're gonna need um, we're gonna need a stack four for each area. So let's see. We can do four areas, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have a lot more than that, so I'm gonna need more signs. So I can have more of that. 
So let's see, we'll do a second row this way. There we go. Actually, we'll move it over one so there's enough room to get three rows in here. Throw item at the door, that's right. That's how you get in. Uh, we'll grab these. Well, actually, wait, no, I don't need the oak planks. I need the birch planks. How many sticks do I have left? None, okay. Well, then I'm gonna use the oak planks to make sticks, because I can. Just because they're here. And I'll um, do that, and then with that, All right, so I can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can do ten areas. There are five areas on this side, five areas on that side. So I can do these two sides, and then I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I need eight, eight stacks plus four each. That's a lot of signs. All right, I'm gonna head back up and go grab a stack of sticks. And it's sleeping, to, and it's nighttime to boot, so I'm gonna go sleep. Okay, uh... Let's see... Birch planks... Sticks are outside... Grab a stack, or... Yeah, we'll grab two stacks of sticks, just in case. I'm okay, Dino. I have enough. If you want to give me the bone meal, you can leave it upstairs. Um... Okay, lots of signs. Oh, I think I made too many now. Hold on. So, let's see. We need three, four, five. One, two, three... F one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have two for the sides, three, four, five, and then six, seven, almost there, almost enough. Okay, that's 30 signs. Let's see. Because we only need four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Okay, so we make one more batch of signs. That's going to be almost enough. Because we needed two stacks of five, right? So one, two, three, f one, two, three, four, five. That's for the back wall. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I counted right, if I counted right, this is enough. 16 plus four for all the signs. That should be enough. But I think that, I think that is darn good. That is darn good, in my opinion. Um, darn, 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 darn good. I am so pleased. Alright, so, um, hmm. That is very darn good. <laughs> but, um, fellas, I 
realize it's 11.17 my time. And normally I go till about midnight or so. But... Um, well actually... Uh, hold on. I will type in chat. Alright. So, fellas, um, I appreciate both of you, and you've helped me get a lot done tonight. I actually technically, technically didn't do any organizing, but this was something that needed to be done. I think it's, um, I think it's a lot better, and I have to really kind of think about how I want this space to look. And what kind of things I want to do with it. So, um, and I, I also realize that it's almost a little, it's, you know, it's get, starting to get a little later. And I normally stream later on Tuesdays, but there's one, there are one or two things I want to do before bed. And hi, Appleton. Welcome. Uh, yeah, there's one or two things I want to do before I go to bed. And, um, um, I have to get up earlier than normal tomorrow. Because I have to make my, I have to like get myself together and stuff, and I'm not doing that tonight. I'm just gonna get up really early and do it. Um, so I think I'm gonna call it here. Um, thank you, Iggy. Thank you, Dino, for the help. Um, yeah, you did, Appleton. I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm, I'm gonna call it. Um, is he still going? I don't have him on my list. If he's still going, I'd love to. Oh, he is still going. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do that. Thank you. Thank you, Appleton. I didn't know. Um, don't, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Let him be surprised. Um, but yeah, you know what? Let me make sure that it's muted. Very good. Um, yeah, we are going to go ahead and we are going to um, set up a raid. We're going to go raid... Uh, we're gonna go raid Joe Hills' brother, Sean. He looks like he's working on some music tonight. Um, but before I go, a couple of things. First and foremost, if you are not already following me on Twitter, uh, please do so at NJ Coffee Junkie. Actually, wait, hold on. I'm gonna, uh, exit out of this. And then I'm going to hit F1. No! Okay, looks like I didn't work everything. Okay. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Oh gosh, okay. Shoo, alright. Okay. So, um, alright, that was a half derp. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I'm so bad at this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you're not already following me on Twitter, please do so at NJ Coffee Junkie. Um... Yeah, self-destructing in five. Like, my whole screen went black. I was like, no! Um, <laughs> um, so, anyway. Um, if you want to catch some of my um, episodes, I have episodes from the server, the Shamblecraft server. I would love it if you uh, caught them. My Halloween episode went out last week, and I have two episodes in the works in the coming days. So, I hope you get a chance to check them out. Uh, next up, um, I mentioned it before, but I started a Patreon. Um, I have a Patreon page um, where supporters can do a bunch of things, whether it's getting content early or um, or having access to Half Calf Craft, which is my uh, Patreon server. Um, I would love that. Um, it's just something new and people were like, do this, do this. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, last but not least, if you're not already a member of the Discord, please feel free to join in. You just have to be 13 years of age or older. I would love to have you. We talk about all kinds of things, coffee and the whatnot. It would be amazing. Um, also, save the date, November 29th, we're going to be doing um, a charity stream to benefit Toys for Tots. And on December 5th, I'll be with the Draw for Charity group. Uh, for uh, to benefit world builders and more information about those events are going to come in the in the following weeks but let's get a raid started um 
when you get there to Sean, please tell him that NJ's raid is freshly brewed, okay? Uh, NJ's raid is freshly brewed. But with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a wonderful night. Please take care of yourselves. Be excellent to yourselves and to each other. Wear your masks, wash your hands, and just stay safe. I will catch you very soon. That's a promise. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful night. Bye, and thank you for the follow, Fury Blood 434.